Hello everyone, my name is Ganesh Mirazka. Today we are going to discuss about irrigation engineering. In that first topic is about the introduction of irrigation engineering and hydrology. So first of all, what is irrigation? So irrigation is nothing but the supply of water to the agricultural field. Okay, so several methods are there to irrigate this uh, agricultural land. First is surface irrigation. Second is subsurface irrigation. Next is drip irrigation. And next is sprinkler irrigation. So what is surface irrigation? When we are applying water at the surface on the ground, that kind of irrigation system is known as surface irrigation system. If we are applying the water below the ground surface, that kind of system is known as subsurface irrigation system. In drip irrigation system, we are going to apply the water in the form of drops directly near to the root zones of the crops. And in sprinkler irrigation system, we are applying the water in the form of spray or it is just like an artificial rain. So steep irrigation is suitable for, uh, for the place where steep gradient is there and soil is erodible. So maximum water application efficiency is there up to 80 to 85 percent is there and for as far as drip irrigation is concerned it is uh, suitable for the vegetables and fruits. So let us see one by one. So what is surface irrigation system? So we are going to apply the water directly to the surface. Sur subsurface means we are applying the water below the ground level. So these are the perforated pipes okay, for subsurface. Again, surface irrigation is classified as furrow irrigation, contour farming, and flooding method. So what is furrow method? Water is applied by digging with narrow channels. Narrow channels, which are known as furrows. Main supply channel. And here we are going to saw the ropes. Okay, so as far as furrow engineering, uh, furrow method is concerned. So here water is flowing store. So this is the saturated zone. And spacing of this furrow should be such that the capillary rise will provide the required quantity of water to the roots of the crops. Okay, next one is contour farming. What is contour farming? So this is ideally suitable for the hilly areas. So water is flowing along the slope. This is stored in these horizontal strips which are known as terraces. And the terraces, and terraces are enclosed by the birds. And here the crops are to be sown. Next one is flooding. Again, flooding system is classified into two subcategories that is controlled and uncontrolled methods. So, when the quantity and direction of water is to be controlled, that method is known as controlled method of flooding, and where the direction and magnitude or quantity of water is not controlled. That method is uncontrolled method. Again, controlled method is divided into number of categories. The best example is border method. In this method, field is divided into borders. Okay. Here is a supply channel. Here 
what is going to be distributed? Sorry. Here the water is going to be distributed and crops are to be sown. These are levees or bunds. So these were horizontal border speech are having width 20 to 30 meter and length 200 to 300 meter. It is suitable for, ideally suitable for the land which is having uniform gentle slope. So we means these are the crops which are suitable for this kind of irrigation. And here for a tobacco. Sugar cane, potato. So these are the suitable crops for this method. Again, check method. In check basin, land is divided into leveled crops. Okay, leveled crops. These are known as check basins. So water is supplied, this is the main channel, supply channel, this is the field channel, okay, Jawar and Paddy, these are the suitable crops for this kind of irrigation method. Next is ring basin. Water is flowing in the circular channel. This is the suitable type of crops are orchard trees. Okay. So we will summarize this. In the surface method, we are going to apply the water directly to the surface. In subsurface, we are going to apply the water below the ground level. Next, for flooding, control and control, what we are going to control is the direction and magnitude of water, uh, quantity of water. Again, in control type of methods, border strip method, border strip method, the land is going to be divided into number of strips which are having width 20 to 30 meters and length 200 to 300 meters. Okay, from main supply channel we are going to distribute the water and here we are going to sow the seeds of the crops. Next one is uh, check basin method. The land is completely divided into number of plots which are surrounded by buns. Okay. And the suitable crops are Jawar and Paddy. The next is ring basin method. Uh, best suitable for orchard trees. Here the main channel is there from this main channel. Water is distributed in this circular channel and the tree is associated, a tree is surrounded by the circular channel. Okay, thank you very much.